Hello, my beautiful co-creators. Lilu here. I'm in Chicago today for actually a quite a very a special, a different kind of video. <laughs> it's not a typical interview or anything like that. I don't know if you remember Dr. Al that I've interviewed about a month and a half ago in Chicago. Um, I was really, really, and I'm very actually still very intrigued and curious about the technique that you're using, EMDR and IADC, uh, which are acronym for... Uh eye movement desensitization and reprocessing and induced after death communication uh -huh. so we're about to do a session we're about to record a session i'm about to do a, a over two days a 60 90 minute session that we're going to record and kind of pull out the most significant uh, bites out of it tell us more what happens during those session well um the, the IADC process, which is basically what I'll be using today and tomorrow, is really um, very involved and um, this is certainly not anything anyone would want to try at home. Um, there's very extensive training that goes with uh, EMDR and those that are trained in IADC are also, also have been EMDR trained to some extent. So. Um, these sessions can be um, very intense, at, at times very painful. I admire your courage uh, to face this. Um, so, um, and I want to explain that the reason why I'm doing this, and this is the same reason why I'm doing the Juicy Living Tour where I'm doing video blogs, is to really um, open up to the unknown, share with people what's really going on in these sessions, all the information, all the techniques that exist out there. I'm ready to test it, try it, and, and share the benefits of it. Because you have worked uh, with over 3,000 patients, uh, especially people that have experienced really deep, intense, traumatic stress. So mine is a little one, but it's, it has a huge impact, I feel, in my life. So, oh, uh, and, and that's absolutely fine. I, um, I have worked with some of the most uh, horrendous horrors uh, that people can't even imagine. Uh, but at the same time, I work with those, those little painful experiences that uh, can be very disruptive to someone's life. Mm -hmm. So you are not uh, unusual in, in that respect. Mm. So how is it going to work out? We're going to we're going to film this. You're going to well, um, what goes on? Well, there there are, there are many parts that viewers aren't going to see and, and and that's why that's another reason why even it's very important that therapists don't try this at home um, because there are many parts of this that we are not going to be included in this tape and one of those um, uh, involves a, a pretty thorough screening and you and I have pretty much already done that off camera and uh, we have um, sort of already mapped our w w what we're going to do today and tomorrow um, and um, so that's pretty much it now it's about we're going to get started huh? we're going to put the camera just on me we won't see everything that you're doing you're, tell us what you're doing during the session and Sure. Well, basically, my job is will be to keep you rolling, to keep you on task, and um, <laughs> and I, and and before we get started, I'm I'm going to give you a little uh, uh, I, I idea of what your, my job's going to be today and tomorrow, and what your job's going to be, and 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 how we best work together. But while I'm keeping you on task, I am also intermittently um, getting your eyes to move in that particular rhythmic fashion that that we talked about on the other tape, and to keep you processing. Tell us again about that movement and what happens during that eye movement. Well, um, the belief has been among the EMDR people, and I think research is now uh, starting to support this, I this idea, um, but when we are asleep and dreaming at night, our brains are actually processing and integrating information more rapidly and efficiently than when we're awake. And it's been believed for some time that this increased processing during uh, dreaming causes our eyes to dart back and forth from left to right, which is why dream sleep is often referred to as rapid eye movement or REM sleep. Um, the discovery of EMDR seems to indicate that you can take a fully awake person and if you can get her to move her eyes in a similar fashion, it actually puts the brain into that higher processing mode and we can use it while people are wide awake. Mm -hmm. Things will move very rapidly, very quickly. 
Um, this is not really a talk therapy. Um, this is the uh, procedure is very much directed towards um, the emotions uh, involved in memories and, and experiences in life, and and uh, my job is 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 to keep you on that emotional level and to keep you processing as best as I can. All right. Well, let's process, huh? Let's let's process. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I don't need to know everything. Some people like to begin their story by telling me what hospital they were born in. <laughs> I don't need to know all of that. Um, but um, there were certain things that happened to you around age 11, a few different things. Um, so so kind of set that up for me. Um, let me know what, what, what happened back then and what your reactions were. Yeah. And. Um, okay. Well, and we will go from there. Okay. Well, uh, in '87 we moved back from uh, the U.S. to France, and I was 10 years old. Uh, my parents were really, really busy at work, and uh, one day, when I was, I guess, 11, in '88, uh, after I was in bed, I was sleeping in the in a, in the couch. I did. I actually didn't had a, a real bedroom. I was sleeping in the couch. My parents' uh, bedroom were just next to me, and I heard them making love. Um, and then my mom crawled in my bed and said, um, "We're gonna with your dad. We're gonna separate. We're no longer happy together." And from that moment, apparently, from my, what my mom told me is that. I just put up a wall. Um, I just put up a big wall, and I didn't want to. I didn't. Want, I'd uh, trying to not to um, let people in. And my dad shortly after that left. Uh, when they divorced, he just went on a two-year trip, and um, I didn't want to. Later on, I found out that it, I felt it as. If if I was abandoned because he was my sweet little dad. I had no brothers and sister. I had nobody to talk to about mm -hmm. this issue. No divorced parents around, and I just felt really alone. My parents were working a lot, and um, I, I was journaling a little bit at the time, and I continued ever since. Um, but my mom said, "Yeah, I really put up a wall. I shut down from that point forward." And that that's that's what happened then. And then that same year, my my Grandpa passed away, um, and I was really close to him, and he died of a heart attack, I think, and um, I saw him laying down uh, in his deathbed, and it was way too soon for me to see that. It, it, just his body on there was shocking. And So you, you saw him after he had passed from the heart yeah, attack? Yeah, a few days after, and just seeing him in the coffin was oh, okay. a, a bit too soon. And then, now... Going back to your situation, your grandfather at home, your grandfather had died, your father had left. Yeah. You have, there's a new man, the yeah. mother's boyfriend is now around, yeah. you're, you're an only child, yeah. you, kind of, you kind of pull into yourself. Yeah. Um, how long did that situation go on? Go on? A long time. Uh, now, you, you and I had talked a couple months ago, you weren't sent somewhere, were you? I was sent. Um, what do you mean, when I was, well, I was were you living with my live? mom. Well, you, were, you weren't sent to live with somebody else. I no. Never, I, I'm confused. No, I was, I was living okay. with my mom, um, but when I graduated, I went to, uh, uh, something else came up again, and I said, this is the wrong mom, I'm leaving, I'm off. And I, that's when I moved to the U.S., and I'm like, enough of this. Um, and since then, we worked a lot on those issues, and we had a lot of conversations, and um, a lot of completion even with her boyfriend. And um, it's way, 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 way better now. We're we're really close okay. compared to where it was. Okay. But but originally, yeah, I had I had really I just like this. So you're close now to mom. Yeah. And, and her boyfriend. Yeah, yeah. I accept okay. their situation, and 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 um, the love is present. Though there's still there's still something there, mm -hmm. and especially with my relationship with men, it seems like I'm always uh, I'm just afraid to fully open up, and I'm mm -hmm. afraid of betrayal, and I'm afraid of abandonment, and mm -hmm. 
and you know, it's 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 there in all aspects of my life. As soon as people get in, or I, I fall in love, or I feel the love, then I I am too afraid to go any further. So I quickly, really quickly, kind of reminds you of the, la out. the last time you felt love, and 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 it didn't work. Yeah. So you're it's like a self protect, yeah, a self protecting. Yeah, kind of. less than I used to, and my heart is definitely mm -hmm. like open every day. But that shuts my heart right away that can really mm -hmm. even if it's fully open then yeah, it's kind <laughs> of an automatic double door <laughs> yeah, yeah. protection armor <laughs> right. um, no you you said you you left and came to the United States after you graduated graduated from uh, from university okay in 2000 in 2000 I did a four-year program okay. business school and then I, I moved to the US after that I lived in the U.S. more or less since then. Okay. Well, let me ask you that. Uh, on a scale of 10. Yeah. Where, when you think about this time in your life, on a scale of 10, where 10 is the most sadness you can have and zero is none, how much do you feel right now as you talk about these issues? How much sadness? A little bit. Mm, what, what ballpark so, number? Um, I don't know, maybe a four. Okay. How about guilt? Do you have any guilt about any of this? Yeah. Yeah, probably a six. Okay. And what's that guilt about? Um, about having pushed so many people, okay. pushed my parents and pushed... Uh, and not, I think at the time I thought it was, I, I did something wrong. Because they never explained why they mm -hmm. divorced, they never explained anything. They never dared to mm -hmm. sit down and say. So they let me deal with that. Right. And then later on my dad said he didn't know how to deal with it either. And you understand now that's a, that was a natural reaction for a young person to feel that. Yeah. To kind of make themselves feel responsible. Right, you know, yeah. You know. And and on a scale of ten, how much anger do you feel right now? Um seven maybe or six. And and what's that about? That is about that I'm still dealing with that and it's still very present. That and that this issue lingers. Yeah. Yeah. And that um Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm more or less angry at myself for still feeling this way. <clears throat> and that they did that the way they did it too, and I thought that was pretty selfish. You just had sadness over that, kind of a, a general sadness as far as I could tell. It wasn't pinned down to any one thing. You just kind of had a general sadness, you know, what your mother told you. And Soon after that, your grandfather died. And so when you put yourself back in those, those times in your life, can you get some of that three? Can you get some of that sadness back that was at a three right now? Um, more it? some incomprehension than anything else, like not comprehending the situation. And kind of like free fall. Um, just like what's what's going on? Yeah, There's, there was so much you didn't know. Yeah. It, have you been able to find out stuff you didn't know in, in your adult years? Yeah. But back then, it felt like you were out, left yeah. out in the dark. Yeah. Like a free fall. Yeah. You feel some of that free fall feeling right now? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Well, look, just pay attention to it. I'm gonna I move it. Just okay. like before, just let yourself feel that free fall. No, I feel really isolated. Just a mix of anger and sadness and, and what the fuck. <laughs> mm -hmm. Open your eyes, let, let's eye move that. You're feeling isolated? Yeah. Angry? Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> let yourself feel it. Hate towards myself, hate towards them. 
then? Yeah, I would, I would, I would punch in the wall. I would, um, I would, I would kick in the door. I would. Um, and, and you're feeling that now? A little bit. Okay. Open your eyes. Let yourself feel that. We'll do that now. Mm -hmm. So let yourself feel the hate. No, I just, I just feel really very angry at my mom and at men and everything. It, just, it was right in the teenage years, so I was just, I was really bad for so, 10 years. So you're kind of feeling that anger you had back then? Uh, yeah, it's still, I, 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 I mean, I'm, just, I'm reliving that, how it was just uh, mm -hmm. hell. Just like really, I, I wasn't making her life hell. I just made her pay for the damage she mm -hmm. did on me big time. Mm -hmm. And you feel some of that anger right now? Um, somewhat. It's there. Let's do another one. Now you started out with hate last time, and now you're saying you have some anger. Yeah. Is it a different anger, or did it come down some, and now it's, but it's still there? It's still there. It's kind of going towards the guilt of having done that. Okay. Let yourself feel that little anger that's still there. anger I had towards her. Mm -hmm. so, really. Are you remembering things that you did back then? Um, just as I said earlier, I was behaving, yeah. Yeah. Um, I just, I wanted the worst for her. I really did. Mm -hmm. What's the feeling you have now, in this moment? Of, um, still uh, incomprehension and still uh, not understanding, but at the same time, now right now I don't feel the guilt. I'm, I'm more in the experience of of um, how much I hated her. And you, you, you feel some of that hate now? Or are you just remembering feel, having felt hate? Uh, I feel some of the hate right now, which I don't like to feel because I... Okay. Well, the, the way to deal with that is let yourself feel it and let's give you another one. Okay? Just let yourself feel that hate that's still there. Mm -hmm. Doing good. Um, some, uh, some towards her man. I was very um, obsessive with my mom. I didn't really like him to be there and be around her. Mm -hmm. Or any minute, as a matter of fact. So you have some anger towards those men that kind of invaded your space? Huh? Yeah. You feeling some of that now? Yeah. Some of it, yeah, a little bit. Okay. Open your eyes and let yourself feel some that, that little bit of anger you have at that. Doing great. something that you felt during or soon after the eye movement or is it something that's that has come up now in other words has it come up and gone down or is it up now does that make sense um it was up right after the the eye movement during mm -hmm. the eye, as i was processing mm -hmm. that's what i was processing okay good yeah and that level of being uncomfortable now it's better. Like I can, okay, okay. It's so more like a store, or like a, uh, it's fading. Okay. I felt it really strong once we did. Uh, okay, I, 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 I understand. You answered my question. Good. So you processed it. Yeah, I think so. I think I processed a lot. 
<laughs> yeah, you, yeah. You, yeah. You're doing I really. felt my eyes uh, really bringing, moving a lot. <laughs> well, that, that did happen. <laughs> yeah. What else about this? Anything else come up after that? Yeah, my dad, then he wasn't there mm -hmm. to protect me or just to be there. Where was he in the entire picture? Okay, and you're feeling that more now? Yeah. Okay, I got you. But that's, I started to get a glimpse of that towards the end of... Towards and, and what's the feeling that goes with, it, with that when you think about where's dad? Uh, some sadness. <laughs> You're doing great. Let yourself think that thought. Where's dad? And let yourself feel the sadness that goes with it. Okay. You're doing great. I'm getting uh, some pieces where I was, um, I was at his place in Ayn, which is outside of Norrington. I was in his apartment and he thought that um, he kind of had a, like, a curse on him because everything was just so dark in his life and he felt so miserable that he was explaining something like, he just couldn't understand, and I felt a lot of sadness and a lot of pain. And um, I think I took some of that pain on mm -hmm. and felt um, guilty of that. And, and I wasn't really there for him either, um, so I abandoned him really because I didn't even want to. So it was you're too painful. So you're visiting him. I was visiting he, him. He, he, he's, he's miserable. He's miserable. Which makes he's you miserable from the divorce, really in pain, yeah. really, really in pain. So that makes so many years. So that makes you feel sad. Oh yeah. Yeah, and you feeling that now, or, uh, or is that when I felt that's when I went through. Yeah, I felt it. I felt the guilt too. Like some kind of, I had something to do with that. Mm -hmm. um, so the the sadness and the guilt came up. Yeah. And did it go down or is it still up? It went down. Um, maybe some guilt, like I had something to do with that, or guilt also to having not being there more for him, or mm -hmm. not having opened the letters that then he was sending because then he decided to go for on his long mm -hmm. trip, um, pushing him out of my life. Mm -hmm. For many years, which which I I really got, came a lot closer to him since May of this year. Good. He was with me in Sedona on the tour. Is he doing better? Yeah, yeah. We went through a big chunks. Yeah. Good. Yeah, I, I saw him finally falling in love again. Good. And so that was yeah. that was beautiful for me to see. It's like it felt complete. Because mm -hmm. I've always carried his pain, and I just wanted to him to see be happy again. Mm -hmm. Before I could authorize myself to be happy. So right in this moment, do you feel the guilt and sadness you, you had back then, or do you feel more of the happiness for him now? More of the guilt. More of the guilt right yeah. now? In this moment? Yeah. Go, go ahead and let yourself feel it. Yeah. But I have happy memories here. Your what? Happy memories surfacing with him. Good. <laughs> That's an excellent sign. You did have many good times with him, huh? Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel overall? You said you feel good? Yeah. You feel relaxed? Yeah. feel uh, expansion. A good expansion? Mm-hmm. Would you go as far as to say you have a peaceful feeling, or is that stretching it a little bit? Uh, yeah, my heart is open and I feel, yeah, I feel peaceful. Bliss, more bliss than peace. Good. Yeah, I'm present to the love. What's that? I'm present to love. <clears throat> I'm present to the love. Well, th 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 that feeling of bliss, I'm going to give you a side of eye movement. 
And this time, the only thing you pay attention to is that good, blissful feeling. Okay. That's all. The green out on my face. <laughs> what? Um, <laughs> okay. Just, just that, that good feeling. That's all you pay attention <laughs> to. And just go wherever it takes you. Okay. What? I, I kind of feel them with, uh, like, an angelic, in an angelic realm right now. <laughs> good. because I don't know what that has to do with it, but I just felt really um, such a beautiful love. Such a beautiful love, and I felt like I was not here. Like it really, like even my grandpa's presence and angels, and <laughs> just really good. Uh, you, oh, you, you felt like your grandfather good, was there? Yeah. I felt... Uh, because because when you asked me, I, I heard at first after the eye movement in bliss, I heard a lot of laughters and a lot of you know, children running around and laughing and playing and it was just all Happy. that. A lot yeah. of happiness. But then it turned out into like choruses of angelic voices hmm. and more like a different space where hmm. where I just. When I when I smiled, I felt like my my grandfather's presence. I felt the love. I felt I felt the embrace. I felt I felt that. You felt even a touch from him. Uh, I felt I I just felt just yeah yeah I felt embraced yeah maybe not a touch mm -hmm. from him but I felt the embrace of his the love. Embrace yeah. 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 Is what I was thinking is, um, you've had a lot of eye movement today, and uh, it, get, it does get to the point where people just kind of wear out a little bit. 
and if I haven't warned you yet, I'm warning you now that you're probably going to be kind of tired the rest of the day. Okay. Um, but anyway, um, I was thinking as we were going on, you know, we, we also have the issue of grandfather, and I'm thinking, well, you know, we can just finish working on this, this issue today, and we have tomorrow to work with grandfather. And uh, that's why I was kidding around. You said you jumped the gun. You kind of went to the conclusion of tomorrow's session on your own. <laughs> well, he, he, I just, I really felt his love. Uh, it was, I was surprised. Well, All of a sudden, he jumped out of nowhere. Like, it's just like, yeah. 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 Well, um, but I didn't feel his presence as here. I felt his presence as there. Yeah. yeah. I didn't feel his presence. Right. I, I understand. Like right, that yeah. it was. It's more fuzzy. But you didn't feel like you were here. You felt like you were there. Yeah. Yeah. And that's where he was. Yeah. Along with these other souls or whatever. Yeah, I just saw angels. Angels. <laughs> this is a beautiful melody. I just. Oh. Wow. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful melody. Well, you're in a good place right now, and I'm thinking that now would be uh, a good time to wrap up today's work. Okay. Um, I'd like to um, give you a little feedback about thoughts I had during the session. Yeah. Um, I just want to review the session with you a little bit. First of all, you did a great job. Um, Thank you. You did exactly what I asked you to do, and uh, you followed my instructions that I gave you at the very beginning. You did a beautiful job. Um, now, w one thing is, is when we talked at the beginning, I was talking more that um, when it, on certain issues, when it comes to grief issues, we people typically have, uh, you know, anger, guilt, and sadness. People always have sadness, sometimes anger and guilt, sometimes just one of those two. But anyway, when I was talking about that, I was talking more about more of a, um, of a, a grief issue than the kind of issue we worked on today. So today we did spend some time on guilt and anger and so on, which is a little bit different. So I'm saying that just to be instructive. Mm -hmm. um, but what was interesting is um, I nevertheless I went for the sadness uh, right away. And even though you didn't have lots of it, um, you were able to access some sadness. And um, and then after that, you talked about the feeling of being in a free fall. Yeah. Um, but anyway, when when we began with those feelings, and they seemed to vanish right away, and you said you were 100% sure that was because you had pushed them away. Mm. And to be honest with you, um, I'll tell you now that when you told me you pushed them away, I didn't believe it. Uh, in, fa in fact, eye movement works that well. Uh -huh. And people frequently say that, even on issues where their numbers are much higher. Someone will start at a, a 9 out of 10 on sadness, and I give them a set of eye movement, and they're like, well, I'm not doing this right. I think I just pushed it away. And I go, well, why would you say that? And go, well, I, I'm not feeling it now. <laughs> In fact, eye movement often works that well. Just boom, just, just, yeah. it just knocks it right off. And I could also tell things were working well um, simply because as things came down, new things came up. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, new layers. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And you let me know that, yeah. which is what I needed to know, and then we processed the next piece or layer. It felt quite quick, yeah. Yeah, and we just process it, and, and then the next, process it, the next, and so on. Yeah. And, um... Yeah, it, get, it got to the core of the issue, or the core. Well, uh, we, yeah, we covered a lot of territory. I know. Um, I was surprised how much of the hate I felt, too. Yeah, and that's also very common, because whatever hate or anger that you still have, 
when you're getting eye movement, yeah. people are generally surprised that they still have that feeling. Yeah. But the eye movement does two things better than anything else. Once it brings it up, it then changes it, and it's different. So it, it was good that these new pieces, or these yeah. other pieces, were coming up, and you stayed with me, and we got, we got a lot of it processed. Yeah, very cool. Um, I have homework for you, which is if any more pieces of okay. anger, guilt, or sadness come up uh, regarding the divorce of your parents and, and those times back then, you just take, just make a little note of what that is. Okay. And when I see you tomorrow morning, we'll see if you came in with more pieces and if there's anything on your list. And we will clean those up, and then we will uh, turn to work turn to working uh, with uh, the loss of your grandfather. Mm -hmm. So we should have plenty of time to do that tomorrow mm -hmm. as well. Now the other thing is is what was um, nice to see and is fairly typical is when you get all of these significant pieces processed as you did and, I, and again I don't know if we got them all but that's why I'm saying if something else comes up look, we'll, we'll finish yeah. it first thing tomorrow. Um, is people get to a place where they start feeling really good. Mm -hmm. It's like you've been carrying this pain around for such a long time and when you're able to process it and set it aside, people generally are, feel overwhelmed by a very positive feeling. Mm -hmm. And at that point, when you were starting to feel really good, I gave you a set of eye movement and that's when you went to that beautiful place that you're, you described to me. Yeah. And uh, that was nice to see. And um, I think our session tomorrow is going to be equally interesting, if not more so. <laughs> yeah. So nice job. Thank you. It was it was quite a bliss. So. <laughs> I love how it ended. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll treasure that. Mm -hmm.